Hello and welcome to this video. Now this video is going to be a bit different. It's more of a video to my future self. So I wanted to ask myself a few key questions about where I am in life and what I want for the future because it feels like a lot of the things that come up on my YouTube feed are a bunch of successful people who have done amazing and they've gone off to surpass what they've wanted in life and they just keep on going. And for me, it feels so draining to keep pursuing this thing. And I thought I'd just make a video that everyone can follow on to, to realize what they have in their life and what they want to change. So I'm going to ask myself a few questions. The first one is, what is life like right now? So currently life is pretty good, I can't complain. Things are going well, I'm finishing my PhD, my financial situation is pretty good, I'm not really worrying too much about that, and things are just generally going well. So I want you to also ask yourself, how is life going right now? Just generally, like, generally just how it is. What are your problems? So currently I actually am really grateful because I don't think I have any problems. But of course many people have problems, whether it's family problems, whether it's relationship problems, whether it's problems with someone maybe harassing you or any other sort of problems they can think of. But currently right now I don't think I have any problems so to speak. My biggest problem is the fact that I don't really know what I want to do with my time, with my life, you know, how it fits in. I feel like that's the biggest burden I have right now is to figure figure out how I can help the universe, how help the world, because I feel like if I'm not striving to achieve that, I'm not fulfilling my goal and I feel really kind of negative. That's literally the only problem I have. I'm super, super fortunate to have this as the only problem that I can have. So definitely my life right now looks to be good. Things can change instantly. Things can change without a moment's notice. So it's very important understanding what you have right now, noticing that these things can change in a heartbeat and, you know, being grateful for exactly what you have. What do you want but don't need? I am very, very lucky because I don't have many wants and desires in life. I feel like this comes with a lot of self-control, but also because maybe I live a very privileged and easy life, I guess, maybe. But the only thing that I really want, want, that I don't have and I don't really need is a house, I guess. And that is something that I strive to buy eventually. And of course, it requires a huge amount of capital. And that's kind of what I am working towards, why I'm investing and things like that. So I don't really have anything that I don't need. I have food, shelter, I have a place to stay. And it doesn't necessarily need to be bought. You don't need to buy your place of residence because obviously you can rent. And I have somewhat of security because I have an emergency fund. So things like that, for me, I feel like I'm eternally grateful for not having these worries. And I don't really have something that I want that I don't need. A lot of people want things like they want a car, designer clothes, they want a new handbag, they want a new computer, they want something. But for me, the only thing I really want is a house and I don't really need it. So it's not really something that I have to get straight away. But I also do feel the pressure of needing to have a house and own assets. I feel like the kind of person that I'm striving to be kind of needs assets in order to fit into society but again I'm not swayed by that kind of movement I don't really care what other people think about me honestly so if I don't have assets anyone else's opinion on me doesn't really matter but maybe ask yourself what is it that you want but you don't need what can you do to achieve this alternative version of reality. So no matter how happy and content you are, you should always as a human being have the urge to, you know, learn more, progress more, be a better person, develop. Everyone can do that. Literally everyone can do that. So I'm not by any means promoting people to like be lazy, live off what they've done already because you should always strive yourself into improving. So for me, what can I do to, you know, get to my dream? I don't really have a dream. My dream is actually to spend my time in endeavors that will help people. But let's say, Let's talk about our selfish side. So if you want a big house, what can you do to in order to achieve it? So obviously you need capital. Maybe by investing this money, you can get a return on your investment and you can be able to buy a house up front. But this obviously requires revenue. And in order to build this revenue, a constant stream of income that you can invest in because the stock market will go up or down or if you're putting in bonds or no matter what kind of investment, it's very volatile. So it needs a constant amount of revenue. So starting a business might be a great idea in order to get revenue. However, it's not that easy to... It's very easy to start a business, but it's not very easy to continue the cash flow through your business and become a successful business. But one of the avenues that I could go down is business. However, when I think about it, the idea of starting a business just for the sake of money with no passion, it just doesn't feel like what I want to do. I'm not saying that anyone that has a business is 
like not fueled by passion because of course if you're just fueled by passion you're not going to really go too far because passion alone is not enough in order to achieve my alternative reality which is to spend the majority of my time on endeavors that help people whether it's like not necessarily charity work but work that will lead to scientific discoveries so for me getting my phd is important and then pursuing a really good fellowship or a really good postdoctoral position in a university that will have really good research links and learn something completely different so what i want to do is to learn and get into the field of something like AI, artificial intelligence, which is completely, completely different from what I've done so far. So I've done an undergrad in biochemistry. I did a master's in biomaterials and tissue engineering. So like biomedical engineering and my PhD is basically biomaterials and biomedical engineering. The next step is to learn more about artificial intelligence, because honestly, I think that is definitely the future. I see a future where all the primary sectors, the secondary sectors and the tertiary sectors, like the manufacturing and farming, agricultural, that stuff is done by not humans. And then humans basically will have to find a way of making making their lives and their hours spent on doing something productive or making a change in society. So I definitely feel like artificial intelligence is the way forward. Not only is it going to help solve a lot of these problems that we have, it will literally make healthcare so much better and improve the quality of life for all. So how much money would this all cost? That is a good question to ask. For me, I don't really like thinking about how much money something is going to cost because at the end of the day the only thing that I can do per day is to work as hard as I can towards my goals so I don't really like to think of monetary goals but if you had an idea like if you wanted a million pound house that is basically you'll need about 1.2 million pounds to buy that house and you know stamp duty and all that stuff on top of that so maybe that is a monetary goal of achieving that 1.2 million to buy that house but of course you have to have a plan in place in order to make 1.2 million which is a huge amount so that is up to you but for me i don't have any monetary goals as long as i am able to pay for my rent my food that's enough for me i don't really need many luxuries so if i'm going to pursue my you know dream or purpose in like helping people advancing science then i don't really care about how much i'm being paid to be honest with you but at the end of the day whatever i do get paid will go into investments in order to save up for maybe a house one day or who knows what but it's good to have reserved money how can you get there so how can you become the person that you want right now so for me the avenue could be to go through scientific research to work really hard and find big discoveries and hopefully that translates into something big and that changes the world i don't necessarily need to be credited for that discovery so i can be as part of a team i don't necessarily live my life thinking i need to be famous or anything like that i really don't actually want to be famous at all even though i made a youtube channel which i know is not going to make me famous but it was going to educate more and more people i guess so the reason why i made this video is because some people lose I feel like the reason why they work so hard you know to build businesses to build all these brands and to become such a big like such a big person I think it's good to sit down and really think about what is it that we actually want in life and if we get it will we stop because if you set yourself goals such as like I want to be a millionaire you might reach it or you might not and you're just going to be in pursuit of becoming a multi-millionaire maybe a billionaire whatever it is the goal never stops the purpose of this video is to highlight what are your problems right now how could you overcome these problems and how can you get basically to the other side and no matter I think how much we try to imagine a world where once we've reached that we'll be happy i don't think that ever happens i don't think we're ever content with the results and we are ever changing which is good and it's part of our human evolution in terms of like a video log for my future self i can look at look back at this and and remember what i wanted at that particular time and if i ever achieve my goals i can remember exactly what they were so i hope this video helps you if you like this kind of video please press like and comment down below so I know to make more videos like this. And as always, thank you for watching.